Yo, what it do, y'all? This your boy King Ed, the great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for me. So, this is gonna be a surprise right here. This video gonna come as a shock to many people that's listening and those who've been following us for the past couple years. But I listened to this project, the Migos Culture Three, and I have to say that I'm very impressed. I'm impressed. I'm probably going to say this is probably one of the best albums this year. Yes, the Migos. Quavo, Takeoff, Offset. <clears throat> they dropped literally one of the best albums this year. And this is coming from somebody that's not even originally a Migos fan. I'm not really a fan of their work like that at all. I've liked songs here and there. But I wasn't really listening to the whole project because I they couldn't really carry a whole project to me. They had catchy songs, but I couldn't really listen to a whole project. But with this one here, for some reason, they stepped it up. I'm talking about from video visuals, from the production choice, to how they layered these songs. These dudes put out a banging joint. Started by the first single, Avalanche, when they used the Temptation sample. And I was listening to how these dudes floated on that beat there. I was like, okay. And the video was very original. Paying homage to the Temptations. So, then I heard another song. With Vaccine, which is one of the best songs they get on the album. Where they use, I think it's the Final Fantasy sample that they use. I mean, these dudes floated on these tracks. Then, Why Not, which is their new single. I'm liking how they're being more original with their videos. Yeah, this is the Migos. The same Migos that I wasn't really feeling. The same Migos that went at it with Bone Thugs of Harmony last year. They came through with a stellar project. Now, as for the guest appearances, Cardi B's verse is pretty hot. She went hard on this type of shit here. Future, that's one of my favorite songs on the project. Future, he been on the zone too. With that joint called Picasso. And then you had the light, the late Pop Smoke. He was on the joint Light It Up, which was pretty good too. I wasn't really feeling the Drake feature though at all. I mean, his the Drake stimulus package is slowly deteriorating to me. I mean, he ain't really, it ain't really containing that magic like it used to the drake song is you know it's just like a skippable but this project here man is surprisingly good these dudes they coasted off each other perfectly let's go to show you right there that they need to stay together because i remember when quavo tried to go solo they thought he was going to be the beyonce of the group and blow it didn't do that well offset his joint did pretty solid but together, this is where they, they shine at their best. And with this project here, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. If you don't like that type of music, if you in the more so boom bap, if you want some the West Coast funk, you're not going to really like this. I'm going to tell y'all that straight up. If you in the um, underground hip hop, you're not going to like this. I'm letting y'all know straight up. But... Being I listen to everything, I get, I'm going to give everything a shot. This project here is on point. It's definitely worth checking out. So check this out when you get time. Definitely check out the songs, The Vaccine, and Avalanche, the video. Those are the two major standouts. And that future joint, Picasso, those are the three major standouts to me. So let me know what you guys think. This is King Eddie the Great signing out. Holla.